Hi everyone. In this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on why Jesus said we should be wise as a serpent. This video will bless you in no small way. So prepare to be blessed by this video production. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you. There are many believers who have done what they believe to be zeal. They have, believed, they have done many things that looks like standing for Christ. I remember I had a friend years ago. We were on our way going to Joss. Very zealous, funny friend. And then from nowhere, and they were non-Christians. You know what I'm talking about. Real fanatics in that car that can almost slaughter you in a moment. And we were somewhere there and I was just praying that we arrive safely. And this my friend who is a sheep that cannot be a serpent just shouted praise the lord and then the gentleman began to teach and the way he preached he began to call you know the leader of that religion and all of that and he called this and was insulting the person and insulting and saying a lot of things ah there was silence in that car i knew i started thinking of which mystery i know what is the mystery of exemption what is what is the key how did how did how did daniel escape the lions then when you are a sheep without being a serpent and a dove you are in trouble welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word giveth life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 you will thank me for the things that you now learn you will thank me sincerely not today if you thank me today you do understand what i said you will thank me when you will need that light in the night for many of you this is broad daylight just keep it in your archives the night will come when you will be the youngest manager of your corporation and you will need this message you will play it again and cry and say lord thank you for preparing me behold now this one he, he now didn't say you are in the world he said i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves eat sheep they don't relate they eat sheep when wolves see a sheep they would tear it into pieces because you are a sheep also be a dove be wise as serpents harmless as doves all this is because you are a sheep oh. because you are a sheep become a snake too and become a dove this is an advice being a serpent you are not a serpent you are not a dove Borrow the quality of a serpent and a dove to make you a, an effective sheep. When a sheep must become a serpent and a dove to survive, it's a serious matter. Jesus is advising you. Hmm. I send you forth as sheep. But your being efficient as a sheep will require you to be both a serpent and a dove sila hmm. you mean i must go that far to be a sheep i must first be a serpent then i become a dove yes sir all because my enemy is a wolf so it takes being a serpent and a dove to overcome a wolf it doesn't take just knowing how to run notice that the serpent is slow the dove is fast all of them are required the serpent looks corny intelligent skill the dove is very innocent many times naive the purity of conscience and yet the serpent is not ignorant at all 
serpents don't chase you they will disguise you come near they hit you with their venom and let you to die they just watch where you die and then they slowly come to you and swallow you they make sure that they swallow you where they can hide for a long time till you digest you will never catch them you won't see the trace they don't bring blood out of you there is no trace there is no evidence other animals will eat and leave the bones you can trace it back to the mouth and catch it and say you are the one who ate this a serpent will finish you and you will not see anything there and jesus said be it to survive whoever taught you that just because you are born again living in the cosmos will just require you to be a nice person that's why you are not promoted in your office because you are a sheep alone and you stood up before your boss and said i'm a christian i won't collect bribe i was i stand for jesus you are right but you are not a serpent you are out there was a way to have done it and you called it boldness but it was not the wisdom that was required there are many believers who have done what they believe to be zeal they have believed they have done many things that looks like standing for christ i remember i had a friend years ago we we're on our way going to joss very zealous funny friend and then from nowhere and they were non-christians you know what i'm talking about real fanatics in that car that can almost slaughter you in a moment and we we're somewhere there and i was just praying that we arrive safely and this my friend who is a sheep that cannot be a serpent just shouted praise the lord and then the gentleman began to teach and the way he preached he began to call you know the leader of that religion and all of that and he called this and was insulting the person and insulting and saying a lot of things ah there was silence in that car i knew i started thinking of which mystery i know what is the mystery of exemption what is what is the key how did how did how did daniel escape the lions then when you are a sheep without being a serpent and a dove you are in trouble do you know at the end of it sincerely i tell you the truth and i lie not if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking they were almost going to pack us in a mosque to slaughter us the driver started chanting something in anger and someone seated in the car too started chanting in anger it's like something you you know what i'm talking about this is an insult this is that and he does not even understand how sir and then when he finished all that sermon he said i have a brother here who will round up with closing prayer me closing prayer hallelujah look up please not every death is dying for christ some deaths are the death of a sheep that cannot be a serpent it took the grace of god for us to arrive just in peace and i told myself i will never travel with this guy again. I was not afraid of death. It was you I was seeing. Who would teach you? <laughs> Hallelujah. How many missionaries should not have died except for the way they approach their sheephood? There are people who just get up and do things anyhow. Listen you must understand the cosmos to grow many of us know god but we do not know this system so the diplomacy to navigate this system we do not have it we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you 
and see you in our next video thank you